Learn to be super successful. Subscribe to my channel, me head. Style is based on F-E-A-R. He uses the mafia model. He says, Mr. Penny will tell you when I'm off the screen. His employees are scared shitless of him. Most companies in New York, except the Googles, etc., use the mafia model. Because most New Yorkers are pushy fucks. Okay? You're not. So I would uh, eliminate that thought process that you're going to be, you know, a roughshod manager. You're a cunt. Okay? You can still make a lot of money. Um, Gerard um, is, is done well. Um, and, uh, and that particular, you know, there's not much um, management style to managing somebody grooming dogs. You either hit your quota 30 dogs a day or you're fucking out. Pretty simple. Uh, that's why he doesn't go in, he goes in twice. Or when he comes in, it's because you've got a problem. He's coming in to put a bullet, in, metaphorically speaking, he's coming in to put a bullet in your head. And I got plenty of those guys too. Do they make more money? Yes. So, but that's, you're, that, you're not, well, you're, today you're not at that end of the continuum. You may develop, and I'm not saying that's a good development, but I'm saying that you may develop into that. Most people develop into the fear model because out of frustration and so pissed off because expecting people to do the right thing, and that all sounds good. Hierarchy of needs, Maslow's hierarchy of needs is this. Lights, music, that's all horse shit. Money talks in fucking bullshit walks. You see all these guys now because it's, we're not in a 12, arguably 13 year bull market in the world anymore. Some people still won't admit it. But the soft, touchy feel music ping pong at the fucking uh, headquarters is gone. Zuckerfuck, all these guys are hammering them now because they produce results that they can't produce anymore with ping pong and fucking uh, badminton. You don't read the shit. I, I showed you seven slides. Probably none of you have ever read any of that. Are you reading the wrong, wrong things? Yes. The last thing when I tell you, if you read anything, other than QLA, these are the five or six things, which well, I'll tell you. But you won't read those because you're going to be so fucking busy, you don't know whether to shit or go blind, going crazy, trying to... It's like um, in that old thing where the, the boy comes to the dam and he... Uh, it's a Dutch thing, and he puts his fingers in the holes in the dam. You don't have an appendages to fill, uh, fill up the motherfucking holes. You don't have. You know, and you see these, um, these cartoons or these things. Um, well, it's got eight hands and eight arms... If you had that many arms and fingers, you still don't have enough. Something's going to go wrong every fucking day. Five times a day. And that's if you're well run. Until you get five or six or 15 or 20, and then you've got a team and you've got the people professionals to do this kind of stuff. But in the beginning, as uh, the Viking bitch said uh, an hour or so ago, it's you and only you. And Historically, I can tell you, I've got data to prove that women are better uh, multitaskers. That's just it. You know, why? I, I'm not interested in the fucking why. I can just tell you for sure that's the fact. That's the fact. And uh, the Viking bitch sounds like a, a super multitasker. Plus, she's got leadership skills, which is highly unusual. That's, you know, primarily why she's been so successful. And they've, and they've told you, and, and, Ger and Gerard told you, and he did a lot of the things I told him not to do. And there's a price, there's a pay price to action for all these things that they do on their own. It costs them not just time and money. And the closest we've got to, not perfection, is obvious. He's 95%. 95%. Uh, most of you, not you, but most of the kids that get out there, they start operating at 30, 40, 50. And the only reason they, 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 they follow those steps more carefully is because the shit you're doing isn't working. And you saw, you said, well, fuck, I saw this stupid bitch, this Viking bitch, and I saw this fucking mouse, uh, Peter, and I, I'm, fuck, what am I doing wrong? And it is, you are doing something wrong, so you go back. 
uh, and I tell you this the last day, smart people will go back and re, um, uh, re um, categorize your notes, okay, uh, and fill in the gaps uh, to the extent. Uh, but you're going to have about 40% retention when you leave here. That's if you really crack on. You know, some of you won't have but uh, 5 or 10% retention. And so, and you've already heard, the people that do the best immerse themselves 100% in the program. Immerse themselves. Now, uh, John Robinson's who you heard talk, and uh, these guys uh, start uh, uh, with their little kids. They can still save these kids. They're three, four, five, seven, eight, nine years old. Uh, uh, prayers, and then QLA. Sunday, they spend with their kids. You, you didn't see in LA this time, uh, where he has, uh, he brings them to his office and they, they do QLA for dummies, dumb down for the kids. And they dress them up in their little suits and, you know. And it is possible. And then you can turn out somebody like him. But I, if you don't have kids, don't get them now. I mean, it's, uh, first of all, it's a thankless fucking job and they're not worth it. And I have three successes, so I can't imagine. I would have, if I knew they weren't going to be successful, I would have drowned them in infancy. Because you're not going to be my fucking flesh and blood and not be a high-performance person. You'd be dead. Baby dead syndrome, what do you call it? Cot syndrome, or what's it called? You know what I'm talking about, right? Well, you'd be one of those. Except that I had a pillow over your fucking face. But I mean it. Comments, questions about Gerard? Yes, sir. He mentioned that leveraging his chairman's financial statement. Oh, yeah, well, he doesn't, he, he doesn't know what he's talking about. His chairman didn't sign for fuck all. That's what I was going to ask. They don't uh, no, fuck all. He, didn't, you know, he, he doesn't know. You know? Well, well, lawyers are mostly brain dead anyway, but I mean the... Uh, And his clients judge whether they get the chair, lethal injection, or, you know, that's, uh, that's the benchmark for him. No, it didn't, that's, that, that didn't happen. It didn't happen. Um, but, he, uh, but he had problems when he uh, gave away equity. He already started the company. So he had to go through the option thing like we've discussed. The, um, and he knows better. He, Allegedly, the past the New York bar is not that hard, I'm told. So uh, that's another uh, another subject. What else about um, uh, the pet guy? And see, I tell you, I would rather you have something that you have passion for. He hates this business. One, he's allergic to all the animals, and blah, 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 okay. I mean, he hates it. Um, but it shits money. But he he doesn't hate it so much. And it shits more money than he hates it. The, uh, now, by the way, those are the you that are going to buy medical practices. Doctors, dentists. You close on Friday, you show up on Monday, all the equipment's gone. All the scalpels and all the shit is gone. It's a guarantee. Not, he, he didn't say, they, they took everything. And then they graffitied it. That's the real world. The kids that didn't want to have anything to do with the business, and then dad or dad, or dad and or mom or both sell the business to you, then the kids come in and torch the fucking place over the weekend. They don't want it, but they don't want you to have it either. I tell the kids, you close on Friday at 5, you're there from Thursday at noon, changing the passwords and all the shit like that. And you escort every motherfucker out of the building. And you sleep there over the weekend. You! That's the real world. Or when you get back, there's, you know, uh, nobody took the pets, though. You know? But he wouldn't even know anyway. They didn't even inventory the fucking animals. Now, a pet lover like Sally and I, we would have inventoried the animals. Sally would have slept with all the puppies. <clears throat> but, I mean, they will, we had a, a deal uh, closed in Montana a few years ago. A guy named Chris, God love him. 
and he's on a, a Zoom call, and uh, he wanted to get, get his deal done before December 31. And uh, he's on his phone, and he's driving in 40 below zero up in Montana, and he's all bundled up. Where are you going? He says, I'm going to the Walmarts. I think if it's open, I hope it's still open. Why? Because the, the lady I bought it from took everything. Toilet paper, soap, um, it was home health. I mean, all the poor people are freezing in their beds. She turned off the gas, uh, the heating, you know. And she wrote herself a dividend check, $31,000. I had 31500 bucks in the bank account. She wrote herself an outgoing dividend check. That's the real world. Doesn't matter what the fucking contract is. What are you going to do? Chase the bitch for 31, 30, I would. Now, I'd spend 500000 chasing her for 30000 because I've done it before. But you won't because you don't have any fucking money. You barely got enough gas to get to the fucking place to, uh, to look at your new acquisition. And I, I still remember uh, Chris's own. And if you're watching this, Chris, send me an email. What have you learned from this experience? He says, people are no fucking good, Mr. Penny, just like you said. If you go on the a preposition, a proposition, then people are no fucking good. You won't get hoist as much. And then when you when somebody's decent, you God damn. Maybe Penny's wrong about this. But then when somebody fucks you where you breathe next week, then you realize I'm still right. And I already talked about the ethnicities. And you heard what he said. And I, you know. It, like they used to say uh, to the GIs when they're, hey, Joe, tell me it ain't true. You know, but it is true. And you, if you go on that proposition, you'll get hurt less and you'll be more cautious. But I mean, most of you, you know, even though you don't think you're naive, you're, you're naive. When the lightning hits you the fifth time, like Lee, okay, he doesn't go out of the fucking house. If it's raining. Well, see, lightning hasn't hit anybody, you know, maybe maybe a, one or two of you. But I know what the lightning bolt feels like, even though it's not lightning. I know, you know, I, we have, you used to hear me say this on, on uh, YouTube. Every human being more or less has three million pores in his body. Pores. I've been fucked in every one of them at least twice. And it's vinegar with it in a bad way. Some of you, I feel sorry for some of you that have never experienced any hardship. I feel sorry for some of you that never got beat by your father, you know, not necessarily like I got beat, but I feel sorry for you. I mean, that you haven't, you know, I do, because it's going to be harder for you. It'll be hard, I, you know, I would be a liar. But I, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is. QLA's been uh, for free online, uh, not 20 years, maybe 17 years, something like that. Free. We should own the world by now. You saw those charts? We should be big, we should be 10 times bigger than Amazon now. I mean, as a group. Not going to happen. I've told you, you know, Sally, I kept saying, you know, 20, 25 years ago, Sally, after maybe at the turn of the century, she said, I don't, I don't think it's going to happen, Dan. But she was right. Now, now, 22 years later, it hasn't happened. And so the market's still yours. It's our time. And, you know, I didn't quit two years ago at that seminar one day in, uh, at Heathrow Airport because God knew I had to wait for Corona. It wouldn't be fair to the old fuck to let him phase himself out and he missed Corona Rona. Thank you. You have no idea the difference in the fear factor and the motivated sellers. You, have, you, you, you can't even imagine. Few of you are trying to finger fuck some deals and you fucked them all up anyway. But I mean, but you have no idea how much easier it is. What else about Gerard? Yes, sir. So when you say that um, people are going to take your properties, can you not claw it back? Sure you can, but that takes time and money. Are you going to go to the bank? You, as a banker, former banker, right? 
I'm going to come back to you and say that, you know, uh, and let's say you do it a commercial lending and partial a seller's note, yada, 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 um, and say that they took the MRI machine and they took this and that and the collateral and, and because I was so fucking stupid and now we have no collateral. Uh, I forget what form you signed it when you signed the big machines and uh, MRIs as collateral for the loans. Am I going to come back and tell you that? No. Because then you're going to question, what are you, a moron? You called the loan. Of course you can put it in there. You should put it in there. But then you've got no money to follow. You're going to chase him with your fucking few pounds you got in the bank? No. And the lawyer's not going to do that on a successful basis. You're fucked. You understand? And not in a good way. And I'd rather be fucked in the ass than, than, than in one of my pores. And you're going to, for those of you that have never had anal sex, get ready for it. You'll get used to it. See, nobody talks like this, do they? They don't tell you the fucking truth. They're going to bend you over and fuck you for practice, sweet pea. And you? Fuck. They're going to put a wig on him and say he's a girl. I'm telling you what the Lord knows. And you've already heard about the ethnicities. You heard the, if I can mention it, don't do business with a certain ethnicity. Most people you can't trust. And he, and Gerard said, everybody's going to lie to you. Now he's, in my camp, everybody's going to lie to you, and that's true. Not just some, not just the Muslims or Jews or, everybody's going to lie to you. Because they have some justification that why, you know, they'll, they'll say it's not a sin of commission, it's a sin of omission. Meaning, uh, they're lying to you because they didn't tell you all the truth. It's still a goddamn lie. And Gerard's, more old school than me. I mean, he, he's, a, he's a gangster lawyer. Jesus Christ. John fucking Gotti. Does that, then maybe you guys don't know who John Gotti is. The Teflon Don. Killed 71 people. Or allegedly killed 71. And that's his man. You were just hearing him right then. That's his main squeeze. He said, Dan, you should have been a gangster. You've got the same des des desperate Disposition, yeah. I think, you know, they cure their godfather, the thing like that that's up there on the wall. What else about uh, Gerard? Any questions? Who's my 530? Th 6. 6.30. Tonight you're going to see a movie. Now, oh, but I want to tell you the thing I gave you, the spreadsheet. That's not a spreadsheet. Whatever that's called. That was done by some, a group of more intelligent of my mentees uh, at the last hardcore. They put together uh, what the, the spreads of the EBITDA, et cetera, for various industries. Uh, it was a couple years old, uh, and the numbers are plus or minus 10% accurate because of the change in the, in the economy. Okay, but they're pretty accurate. But they give you an idea. Whether, you know, I tell you to go grow, for, I want 20 to 40 percent gross margins. Okay, restaurants, retail, that, do not fall into that category. Okay, crematoriums and stuff like that. The mobile home, mobile home park business, which is now called manufactured homes, industry average is 65 percent margin. I told you yesterday a well run one is 85 or 90 percent margin. A piss poor uh, uh, one, uh, poorly run, uh, is about 50%, which is twice as much as other industries. But it's a shitty business to roll up. I mean, you're dealing with, you know, they call it trailer trash for a reason. It's a tough goddamn business. I excelled at it because, you know, I'm not a, I'm not a uh, shrinking violet. But if you, if, uh, and there, everybody on the board ought to be, uh, you know, tough. Um, but it's, it's, it's a great business. It, it shits money. I was telling TK, who was raised in a mobile home when he was poor, uh, that we used to have Brinks uh, armored trucks. I might have told the group that used to come twice a week to pick up the money from uh, our bigger mobile home parks because everything was on a meter that you put money in. From uh, the uh, laundromat to the game room, gas, electric, 
the, the, the food shack or whatever we sold food. Uh, and they used to pick up between twenty-five and fifty thousand dollars a week in coins. So we had uh, not, not a Brinks, but a Brinks type truck come by uh, to pick up the money. And uh, the uh, and of course we pay tax on every nickel. We pay tax on every nickel of all that cash. But you look at that, and if you have any questions for tomorrow, um, I'll answer them tonight. You're gonna have homework for. Uh, one of the movies. Um, now, so far, you've, uh, you've heard Steve Jobs didn't know shit about programming, didn't, didn't write code, didn't, okay? He didn't know anything. Um, you're going to hear uh, not a dissimilar story. All the things that are important to you aren't important. All the things that you think are important to you is why you haven't made a lot of money yet. Yet. Um, okay, the, um, I will see uh, my 5.30 in a couple minutes in the castle, and I'll see you guys here approximately at 7. Tonight we eat in the pavilion. Yeah, tonight's, uh, I think, steak night, steak night. And so, um, the end. so we, we eat in the pavilion, not item. We eat in the pub one other time as well. And then graduation night we eat in the castle. Okay, kids, I'll see you, uh, I'll see my 5.30 in a couple minutes.